The Jules Air Plus just dropped, and we've already had several questions from viewers about whether the changes made to the model justify getting it versus just going instead for the still available original Air now sold at a discounted price. And today then, I wanted to briefly go over the bigger updates with the Air Plus and give my opinion on the matter. So what's changed? A few things, but nothing that major in my opinion. Where, other than some new colors and smaller updates to stuff like the harness and adding a mounting point for a lead light sold as an extra accessory, there are really only three slight improvements in that the shopping basket is a tad larger, though not by a margin that really makes a difference in my opinion. The canopy can be pulled down a little lower and the ventilation window has changed shape but still doesn't have a flap to cover it. And the biggest change, which is a 15% increase in the angle of recline, making it almost fully flat, though still not newborn acceptable. And note here that this may not even be the case everywhere, as some countries like Australia and the US have safety laws that don't always allow ultra compacts to be sold with deep reclines. That being said, these last two changes to the canopy and seat are the ones that will provide the biggest comfort difference between the two models. Though, as the Air Plus comes out of the box, the advantage is actually pretty limited in my opinion, since there's still no inbuilt adjustable leg rest on the model, meaning that the only age at which a child will get a decently flat napping position is for a few months after they transition to the seat, but before their legs are too long for the baseboard. There is a separate leg rest available as an extra accessory, which will extend the comfort of that new reclined position for a bit longer. Before the Air Plus's rather premium price, it would have been a bit nice in my opinion if you didn't have to buy extra accessories. And in a similar vein, the one change to the Air Plus that I actually really dislike is that the model no longer comes stock with the rain cover. Which then leads us back to the original question, whether it's better to get the Air Plus for 450 bucks without a rain cover, or the original Air for 400 with one. And where my general opinion is that you might as well go with the original at this point, since the updates simply don't seem to be worth the extra 100 bucks in difference that you'd need to get the Air Plus with the cover. Mind you, that I'm not trying to suggest with this video that the Air or the Air Plus are bad models. I'm actually quite partial to both Jules as a brand and the design of the Air as a whole, but in this case, I just don't really feel that the changes made make much of a difference. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe, as this sort of support really helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about the Air, I've linked our in-depth review of the original model in the description. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description. Thank you.